The qualm pass sequence generator and decoder components use the probabilistic amplitude shaping technique to lower the entropy of a qualm signal, which can be used for various reasons, such as lowering the average power of an optical signal or changing the baud rate under a constant bit rate. The qualm pass sequence generator and decoder components have two available configurations, subsystem layout A, which shapes the entire constellation directly, and subsystem layout B, which applies shaping while using forward error correction to encode the sign bits. These components currently support the following five square formats, 16, 32, 64, 128, and 256 qualm. Similarly to the PAM pass sequence generator layout A, subsystem layout A for the qualm pass sequence generator uses a CCDM encoder component directly for the output distribution. The Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution is used with two-dimensional shaping. This technique assigns a cardinality to the CCDM encoder, matching the qualm format. For example, a cardinality of 64 is used for 64 qualm. The encoder then uses these 64 symbols to generate the codeword. After encoding, these symbols are each mapped to a symbol pair, where the symbol pair is output as the in-phase and quadrature symbols. The figure displays a probability distribution chart for a shaped 64 qualm signal, where the low-power symbols have a larger probability than the high-powered symbols. Subsystem layout B uses a different approach than subsystem layout A. In the qualm data format, there is one input binary bit sequence and two output emery symbol sequences. For square qualm formats, these two output sequences can be represented as PAM sequences. Using a 16 qualm example, the two sequences can be represented in the PAM4 format with different phases. When combined as a symbol pair, these two sequences represent the full qualm constellation. For the probabilistic amplitude shaping technique, each branch of the qualm sequence generator can be shaped independently using a PAM pass sequence generator component. When the symbols are read as a pair, the distribution on the right is attained. Forward error correction can be integrated into the PAM pass sequence generator. The top figure displays the diagram of the generator without FEC, while the bottom displays the generator with FEC. Without FEC encoding, the CCDM encoder outputs all of the symbols within the PAM format. In PAM4, these include negative 3, negative 1, 1, and 3. With FEC encoding, the CCDM encoder outputs only the positive symbols within the PAM sequence, which correspond with the amplitudes of the format. These symbols are copied to an FEC encoder system which encodes them into an emery sequence containing the symbols negative one and positive one. This sequence corresponds with the sign information of the PAM format. The amplitude sequence from the CCDM encoder is then multiplied with the sign sequence from the FEC encoder to generate the full PAM sequence. The OptiSystem implementation of the PAM pass sequence generator is shown here. Following the CCDM encoder, the emery sequence is copied, where one branch is inserted to the top input port of the PAM emery level generator, while the second branch is sent to the FEC encoder. First, the emery sequence is converted to a bit sequence using the PAM sequence decoder component. An LDPC encoder then encodes this bit sequence and outputs only the generated parity bits. The number of parity bits generated equal the number of emery symbols within the initial amplitude sequence. These parity bits are then processed by a PAM sequence generator to form the sign sequence by converting each bit 0 to the symbol negative 1 and each bit 1 to the symbol positive 1. This sign sequence is then input into the second input port of the PAM emery level generator which multiplies the two sequences together to generate the full symbol sequence of both positive and negative values. The implementation of forward error correction affects the coding rate of the PAM pass sequence generator. Without FEC, 
the maximum coding rate is log 2 of n, where n corresponds to the PAM format. With FEC, the maximum coding rate is log 2 of n minus 1. This is because none of the original input bits are encoded into the signs of the output sequence. A technique to reduce this limitation is to directly encode bits into the signs of the output sequence. This is done by taking a portion of the input bits and directly encoding them into the output signs. The FEC will still use these bits during the encoding procedure. The parameter gamma is introduced to control the fraction of bits directly encoded into the output signs and can be varied between 0 and 1. Increasing the value of gamma increases the maximum coding rate available, but also decreases the amount of parity bits used during forward error correction, which lessens the error correcting ability of the system. Shown here is the implementation of this system in OptiSystem. This corresponds closely with the subsystem layout B of the PAM pass sequence generator. The input bit sequence length is represented by K, and the output symbol sequence length represented by N. At the input, the original bit sequence is separated into two smaller sequences using the bit sequence slicer component, where the first is sent to the CCDM encoder, and the second is used for the generation of the sign symbols. The size of the latter sequence is controlled by the parameter gamma. These bypass bits are then padded with the amplitude bits prior to LDPC encoding. Following the LDPC encoder component, the generated parity bits are padded with the bypass bits and sent to the PAM sequence generator to form the N sign symbols. The amplitude and signs are then multiplied together to form the full PAM sequence. Subsystem layout B of the QAM pass sequence generator component uses two of the aforementioned PAM pass sequence generators to form the output sequences for the 16 QAM, 64 QAM, and 256 QAM formats. The layout is shown on the right. The layouts for the 32 QAM and 128 QAM formats differ, but operate in a very similar manner and can be found in the documentation for the component and the files provided in the OptiSystem example library. Displayed here are the PAM pass encoder parameters. The decoder parameters are identical. The parameter bits per output symbol defines the QAM format used. For 16 QAM, this value should be 4 bits per symbol. The parameter PSN represents the number of symbol pairs within each codeword sequence output. The full output sequence will be a multiple of PSN. Subsystem layout can select between the different subsystem layouts. Parameters list defines which set of parameters are used to set up the encoder. When the parameters list is set to primary, the parameters entropy, FEC rate numerator, and FEC rate denominator are used to set up the component. The entropy describes the desired entropy of the codeword and the latter parameters are related to the rate of the FEC encoder. For example, if a rate of 3 divided by 4 is desired for the FEC encoder, a value of 3 should be entered into the parameter FEC rate numerator, and a value of 4 entered into the parameter FEC rate denominator. When the parameters list is set to secondary, the parameters PSK and gamma are used to set up the component. PSK holds the desired input bit sequence length for the encoder, while gamma determines the fraction of input bits encoded in the signs of the codeword sequence. This example displays the use of the QAM pass sequence generator as a substitute for the QAM sequence generator using the 16 QAM format. The upper setup shows the QAM sequence generator which encodes an emery sequence with a uniform distribution of levels at a rate of 4 bits per symbol. The lower setup shows the QAM pass sequence generator encoding for a rate of 3.75 bits per symbol. Here, we will use the 4 bits per symbol to correspond with the 16 QAM format, use a codeword with 4096 symbols, and use subsystem layout A for no forward error correction implementation. We will also use the primary parameters list to set a desired entropy of 3.75. After calculating the simulation, 
we can look at the Emory sequence visualizers to compare the symbol distributions. The system with the QAM pass sequence generator transmitted a lower amount of high powered symbols and a larger amount of low powered symbols than the standard 16 QAM system. We can also set up a similar system using subsystem layout B instead. Here, we will keep the entropy the same, but use an FEC encoding rate of 3 divided by 4. This will cause the QAM pass sequence generator to have a lower coding rate, but will maintain the same entropy.